So firstly, we'll take the arms out to the outsides of the thighs, palms facing in and interlace the fingers. We'll keep the head up so the back is rounded and we'll plant or flex the feet. So the palms are facing in towards your belly, your hands are interlaced, the forearms are around the outsides of the thighs. And we can just lift the sacrum a bit, we can lift the shoulder blades a bit, so we're in a good kind of sit-up position. Again, some of the work here can really be in straightening the legs, not just the balance. Earlier in the seated version, we were balancing on the bum, now we're balancing on the back, but it's the same shape. Now just to release and take your hands a little bit further up so you're either at the backs of the knees or very close to and interlace the fingers and this time take the palms to face towards the ceiling. Plant or flex the feet if it feels okay but obviously if it's cramping don't overdo that. Balance is a little bit easier now because there's more of us on the ground. So we can start to slide the arms up to the backs of the calf muscles, if that feels okay. So this will, if you're still interlaced in the fingers, this will lift the sacrum a bit more, making your legs almost parallel with the ceiling. This is a modified version of Yoga Nidrasana. So if you can, take the palms behind the head. So the hands are still interlaced, but they're now behind the head as your arms are wrapped around the lower legs. Try and straighten your knees. Threading the head through so it lays on the interlaced hands. <laughs> 